Hello and welcome to our instructional series of videos. In this installment, we're going to show you how to install drives in the OWC Thunder Bay Flex 8. We've already gathered our materials and are working on a soft static free surface. We're now ready to begin. The first step is to insert the key that came with the enclosure into the lock and turn it a quarter turn clockwise. Then pull out on the key and the front panel will angle forward. You can then lift the panel up and out and set it aside. To remove a tray, first loosen the thumb screw, then slide the tray out. Repeat the process for the remaining trays. The Flex 8 can use either 3.5 inch or 2.5 inch form factor drives. The Flex 8 is also capable of using drives with the U.2 interface, which is faster than a standard SATA connection. You can tell the difference by looking at the connector. Where U.2 drives have extra pins, there's a gap in the SATA connector. The bottom row can only use SATA drives. The upper row can use SATA drives or U.2 NVMe drives. With U.2 drives, the upper left bay is a four-lane slot for maximum performance, while the other three are single lane. For 2.5 inch drives, such as many SATA and U.2 SSDs, align the drive in the corner of the tray so that the connector is over the notch in the tray. Then flip them over and, using the shorter, narrow threaded Phillips screws that came with the Flex 8, secure the drive through the small holes in the bottom of the tray. For 3.5 inch drives, set the drive into the tray with the SATA connection facing outward. Then use 6 of the longer, thicker threaded Phillips screws to secure the drive to the tray, 3 on each side. Once you have all your drives attached to their trays, you can place one into its appropriate slot and tighten the thumb screw. Then do the same for the rest of the drives. On the inside of the front cover, there's a small pin on each side near the bottom. These pins correspond to the two slots on the front of the enclosure. Slide the front panel into place so that the pins go into the slots, then push the top of the panel into place. You can then turn the key a quarter turn counterclockwise and remove it to lock the panel. Your drives are now ready to format and use.